Hello Heathens at Home, it's Helen here and I am back with a pre-recorded short craft especially for the Halloween edition of the Mark and Sarah show today. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are across the Heathlands footprint as Spiff would say whether you're here at Heathlands in one of our bubbles or at home uh, yeah we've got a Halloween craft for you so today we're going to be making this uh, cardboard pumpkin and it's really simple to make because all you need is some orange card and some green card you're going to need some scissors or a craft knife a ruler a pencil and a black felt tip pen and you need a couple of these which are called split pins now I'll bring these up to show you so you can see these little brass pins are called split pins because they literally split can you see that there I turn that in the light so you're gonna need two of these split pins um, and you need something to poke holes in your cardboard with so um, if you're using a craft knife like this and you've got a cutting board you could place your craft knife onto your piece of card and give it a little bit of a spin and that will start a hole off or if you don't like using craft knives what you could use is a hole punch to create your holes um, today I'm going to be using one of my trusty pen knives because my pen knife has a tool on it called a, a sewing awl or a reamer um, so it's a punch tool. I'll get this open. So it's specially designed to poke holes in things. So I will be using that. Um, <clears throat> so all you need to do to create your pumpkin is to cut eight identical strips of orange card and one little kind of shaped curl of green card. Now to do that, very quickly, what I'd like you to do is cut three centimetre strips off on the short end of your orange card and you need to do eight of them. So if you're using scissors, just mark your paper, your card like so, on a three centimetre strip and then just cut the strip off. Now, what I'm going to do to make this really quick instruction for Mark and Sarah is I'm going to zoom in on the table, okay, and I'm going to cut all the strips and then I will zoom out a bit again and explain how we put everything together. Okay, so now that we've got our eight strips of card cut out, what we need to do is make the little stalk for the pumpkin. So what I did for this was, I kind of did a very shallow S shape. Now I'm going to draw this uh, in felt tips so that you can see it easily. And then what I'll try and do is I'll cut it out inside the lines so that we don't end up with black felt tip on our stalk. So I kind of did... that shape and I'll bring this up to show you so it's yeah it's a, a shallow S shape so we're going to very quickly cut that out and then what we're going to start to do is put our holes into our card that's my computer binging for something don't know what scrap out of the way so as I say I'm using my awl um, but you can use whatever you want to um, to poke your holes into your card so I've poked a little hole in there and the other thing to remember is that you need to curl your pumpkin stalk so it stands up so I'm going to speed the film up again from this point 
so that you don't watch me put in 16 holes on our pieces of card. But just as a reminder, you need a hole in the top and you need a hole in the bottom for this to work. So I'm going to speed this up now and then we'll put everything together at the end. Okay, so now that I've got all of my holes in my card, the next thing to do is to take our paper fasteners, our split pins, and put it through all eight pieces. So this will be the bottom, and I'm just going to put all pieces of eight paper strips onto one pin so hopefully you can see that kind of starts to fan out so the tricky bit is getting the next pin through all eight layers at the other end so at the other end what you want to do is take your split pin and put it through your green piece of card first because that's going to be the stalk on the top of your pumpkin and then again, we're going to thread every piece or strip of our pumpkin onto our split pin. So now that it's on at both ends, so I'll bring this up and show you. Yeah? What you need to do is flatten the split pin out to secure that down, like so. And I'll do it again at this end. Get your finger between those two pins and flatten it down. <clears throat> so next thing we need to do is to pull everything round to make it into our pumpkin shape. So you need to spin all your pieces of card, and it can be a little tricky at first, but you will get there, trust me. The more pieces of card you get out, the easier it gets. One more to go. Ooh, my pumpkin looks a bit wonky because I haven't got it even top and bottom. Make sure that that top stalk is curled and that is our Halloween pumpkin. The only thing left to do is to decorate them with a face. So you're going to take your black felt tip again and on two of the strips of card, you can decide where you want to do it. We're going to do a zigzag for a mouth. It wasn't very even there. And um, sorry, Nick's just come to say hello. We're just recording a Halloween craft for the Mark and Sarah show. Uh, so I've done zigzags for the mouth and I'm just going to put some spooky kind of slanty eyes on. Now you can make your pumpkin's face however you like. So you might want to do a friendly pumpkin. You might want to do a slightly goofy pumpkin. Or like me. You might want to do a scary pumpkin. And that is that. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.